to finish uh, the warm up or copying the warm up, it will be in the video. So just go to the video so you can uh, copy those. All right. Our home play for tonight is only pages 446 and 447 odds. Odds only. Okay. Our objective for today can multiply and divide rational expressions. I can multiply and divide rational expressions. So we're already done with addition and subtraction. We're moving on to the last two operations, okay? So we already know what rational expressions are. We don't need a prior model. And we already introduced rationals using the definition that I gave you. Is that correct? And we also practice a lot of the excluded values, which is uh, any value that makes the denominator zero. All right? So quick recap in regards to multiplication and division. Taking you back to uh, second and third grade in elementary, your teachers gave you stuff like this, two uh, sevenths and uh, three fifths, for say. To multiply, we do two, uh, two sevenths times three fifths. That is six thirty fifths. And if we can simplify, we would simplify, but if not, then we are there. Division is 2 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. Now, division is, in particular, a little bit special. Look up, please. This implies this, 2 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. Do you agree with that? Yes. However, doesn't it look kind of funky, having a fraction over another fraction? Yes. Why? Because the definition tells us we cannot have that. This says that any fraction can have m and n, and n, which is the denominator, has to be a what? An integer. Think about integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and all their opposites, which is the negatives. So if that's true, Mr. Ch Mr. Q, what can we do? Well, the smallest integer I can think of that I can make this denominator is a giant 1. So if that's true, what can I multiply 3 fifths by to make it a 1? 5 over 3, which is known as a reciprocal. That gives us 15 over 15, which is 1. But whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator. So now what we just did, we transformed this into something new. What is that new? It's 2 sevenths times 5 over 3. Now you know the why. In the past, your teachers told you what? Keep, change, flip, something like that. Right? Some of you were giving that acronym, whatever the case. Well, whatever. Yeah. Keep, change, change, keep, change, flip, whatever the case. However, um, this this is a giant one that we needed there, and that's the purpose. Okay. So, anyways, copy the steps for multiplication of uh, rationals. Three steps. Step one, factor completely. Step two, multiply the numerators and denominators. And step three, simplify by identifying giant ones. Copy that, you got 40 seconds. Okay, once again, the process. Step one, factor completely. Have we been factoring? Yes. Step two, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Okay. Step three, simplify. Have we been simplifying to lowest terms? Yes, by identifying giant ones. All right, copy this one. Example one. It reads, compute the product or quotient, then simplify to lowest terms. At the end, also identify excluded value. Get your colors ready. I'm going to have those colors to use for the process. I'll do the step. You'll copy. I'll do another step. You copy. And then I'll do the last step. You copy. Okay?
Okay, writing utensils down, look up to the screen. Here we go. Step one. It says, factor completely. I'm going to factor this one completely. This one is 3 times x times x. I'm going to factor this one now. Da, 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 da. Product. We got negative 2 as our sum. Factors of negative 8 that add up to negative 2. Negative 4 and 2. For the purpose of this, to go a little bit faster, I'm not going to do by grouping. I'm just going to use a shortcut. So my factors are what? x minus 4 and x plus 2. I'm done with this one. Fine. Is there a GCF here? Okay, right now you're just paying attention. Yes? <laughs> 2. And we're left with x squared minus 3x minus 10. Can I factor this a little bit more? Yes, negative 10 and negative 3. Factors of negative 10 that add up to negative 3, negative 5, and 2. So my factors are 2, x minus 5, x plus 2. Factor this one, negative 10, negative 3. Factors of negative 10, it looks like it's about the same, so I'm going to write x minus 5, x plus 2. I just finished step 1, which is factoring completely. Copy that, please. All right. Step two. I'm going to switch to red. Here we go. Bring your utensils down. Look up to the screen. Here we go. Step two says multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. Since I have a lot of factors here, I'm going to get all the GCF together and write all the factors as is. So I'm going to start with 2 times what? 3 times x times x times x minus 5 times x plus 2. I'm going to do the same here. All these, I'm going to mul multiply them. They're already, these two are already multiplying, these two are already multiplying. I'm going to multiply all four of them. x minus 4, x plus 2, times x minus 5, times x plus 2. Step 2 is done. Copy that. All right, step three. I'm going to do that in green. It says simplify. And how do we simplify? By identifying giant ones. Let's do this one together. Do you see any giant ones? Yes. Which ones? Yes. X minus five, X plus two. One times one is one. And what do we have in the numerator? We have two times three times X times X. Denominator, we have X minus four times X plus two. I'm going to simplify the numerator a little bit more. That becomes what? 6x squared over x minus 4, x plus 2. And this is our product. Product because we multiply. Any questions with the process for multiplication of rationals? Show me where you think how comfortable you are so far. Yeah, four fives, four fives, okay. So, the extra stuff that they're asking us to do is to identify excluded values. Do we know what to do from there? Yeah, take each denominator and equal to zero. Since they're already factored, look up. Look what I'm going to do here. X minus 4 equal to zero and X plus 2 equal to zero. How about here? X minus 5 equal to zero and X plus 2 equal to zero. And then we solve. Plus 4 plus 4, you get x equals 4, minus 2, minus 2, x equals negative 2, plus 5, plus 5, x equals 5, 
minus 2 minus 2, x equals negative 2. So my excluded values are negative 2, I only write it once, 4, and 5. Cool. Damn. The excluded value should be a piece of cake right now because we've been practicing these, yes? Yes, I think you. All right, good. So here goes the process one more time to make sure we got it. To find the product of two rationals, product meaning the result of the multiplication, what do we do first? Factor completely, factor complete. From there, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. And step three, simplify by identifying giant ones and writing your simplification as a product. At the end, if they ask you to find the excluded values, there they are. Let's do another one. Copy this. Example one Q. You already have the steps. You already have the instructions. Just copy the rationals. Example one Q reads x squared minus 8x over 14 times x squared plus 8x plus 15 close parentheses, then times, the other fraction is 7x plus 35 over x plus 8. All right, let's do this one together. If you have your colored pens, where I'm going to start with black. Factor completely. Let's see. By looking at this one, it's a binomial. You can't do power ranges, but can we check for GCF? Yes, what's GCF? X, and I'm left with x minus 8. I'm done with the numerator. Let's go to this one. 14. What's another way of writing 14 as factor? 2 times 7. That is correct. x squared plus 8x plus 15. Power into 15 and 8. Factors of 15 that add up to 8? 3 and 5. So our factors are x plus 3, x plus 5. I'm done with the first fraction time. Here's a binomial. We can't use power rangers, but can we check for GCF? Which is 7, we're left with x plus 5. Go to the denominator, the binomial, not, not power rangers, GCF? No, so we just write x plus 8. And so that it can look like all the others, I'm going to put it in parentheses so that it, you know, just looks like the others. We're done with step 1. Switching to red, I'm going to do step two. Multiply the numerators, but I'm going to keep the GCFs first. So what do I write first? 7x and then x minus 8, x plus 5. What do I write over here? 2 times 7 times x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 8. We're done with step two. Step three, identify giant one. So you never the giant ones from there, please. That is correct. Seven and x plus five. Now some of you look up look up. Some of you might have wanted to cancel this one with this one. But are they exactly the same? No, that only works if they are exactly the same. So we're going to write x minus 8 over 2. I'm sorry, I'm missing x. x. And then 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 8. And we're done. This is my product. Are we done with multiplication? Yes. But what else are they asking us to do? Excluded values. Turn to you and never let them know what to do with this and what to do with that. Set each one equal to zero. So 2 equal to zero, 7 equal to zero, x plus 3 equal to zero, and x plus 5 equal to zero, and this one is x plus 8 equal to zero. Yes? 
Well, aren't all these factors? Okay, so let's see. Is 2 equal to 0? No. No. How about is 7 equal to 0? No. Uh, x plus 3 equal to 0. Can we solve this? Yes. Minus 3 minus 3. X equals negative 3. Can we solve this? Yes. Minus 5 minus 5. X equals negative 5. And lastly, minus 8 minus 8. X equals negative 8. So my excluded values are negative 8, negative 5, and negative 3. What? Of course. All right, show me your hands. I'll come to you out with these. Okay, here goes one for you. Ready? Copy that. Example 1 super Q. x squared minus 9 over x squared minus 5x minus 24 times x minus 8 over 2x squared minus 18x. Copy that and go. I'll give you a head start. Let's see. Uh, help us get started, please. How about... Um, Perla, by the looks of it, we're on step one, which is factoring completely. And by the looks of it, Perla, this is a difference of squares. Is that correct? So how do we write that as factors? X minus 3 and X plus 3. That is correct. Bam, Perla in the house. Let's go. Denominator, I'm going to factor the denominator. I'll help you with that one. We got negative 24 and negative 5. Factors of negative 24 that add up to 5. 3 and negative 8. That is correct. So my factors are x plus 3, x minus 8. Fine. Pass someone, Perla. Damien, look at the, at the numerator. It's a binomial. We can't do Power Rangers. Does it have a GCF? So what do I write? X minus 8. Pass someone. Lene. It's a binomial. What's the GCF? No, 2x. 2x. And we're left with? X Nine. Hands if you got that. Okay. Pass someone. Lene. Josh. Josh. Tell me what you write in the numerator. Denominator. Hold on. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Pass someone. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me do that in green. All right. What other? X minus 8. That's it. So our product is X minus 3 over 2X times X minus 9. And this is our product. And if you got that, go. Oh. We're not done. So remember what to do at the end for the excluded values. Set the denominators equal to zero. X plus three equal to zero. X minus eight equal to zero. Two X equal to zero. And X minus nine equal to zero. Yes? All right, minus 3 minus 3, x equals negative 3, plus 8 plus 8, x equals 8. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 0. And plus 9 plus 9, x equals 9. So my excluded value, starting with the smallest one, smallest one is negative 3, comma, 0, comma, 8 comma, nine.
question was earlier, Mr. Q, do they have to be in order from least to greatest? No. That's just me with my uh, OCD. <laughs> Show me up here how come they are with these. We got this, yeah? And one more. There you go. That's one of these before we move on. Copy that. Example one mega Q. We got first fraction is x squared over x minus nine times second fraction is three x minus twenty seven over x squared plus x. Copy that and go. Check step one. Hands if you're there. Okay, good. Continue. Check step two. Hands if you got that. Okay, good. Continue. Step three on the screen. Hands if you got three x over x plus one. Wait. Oh, product. Are we done? No, they're asking us to find the excluded value. So what do we write? X minus 9 equal to 0. X equal to 0. X plus 1 equal to 0. Plus 9 plus 9. X equals 9. This one's already solved. Minus 1 minus 1. X equals negative 1. So my excluded values are negative 1, 0, and 9. All right, so we're going to talk about QR with these. Okay, let's crank it up. Yeah, let's go to division. <laughs> let's go. Here are the steps for division. Here we go. And once again, if you follow the processes, you'll be able to finish and accomplish what I'm asking you to do. Now, before you copy that, look up. Read the steps for division. And think about what we just did with multiplication. Talk it over your neighbor and know what is the difference between the division process and the multiplication process. Everyone, what's the difference? Just the first step. So are you going to copy the whole process? No, copy first step and then write then follow multiplication process. Simple as that. Copy the first step. First step says multiply the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second. And then from there we just follow the multiplication process. All right, copy this one. I'm going to leave the steps on, on top, on the top right. Example number two, instructions are still the same. Compute the product or quotient. We just finished with products, is that correct? Now that we're moving to div division, we're going to find the what? The quotient. Then it says, then simplify to lowest terms and identify any, any excluded values. Our fractions given are x plus 7 in parentheses to the second power over x squared divided by x squared plus 9x plus 14 over x squared plus x minus 2. Copy that, please. All right, let's do this one together. I'm going to switch to blue to do the first step. Step 1 says multiply the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second. The first fraction... times the reciprocal of the second. So the second fraction, what is the reciprocal? We just do what? Flip it. So then we end up with x squared plus x minus 2 over x squared plus 9x plus 14. Yeah. And the rest is history. Does everybody see that? All right. Let's see. Uh, who went last? Who? Carlo. Yeah. No, you went last. Yeah. No, I was going to pick you. Let's see. Carlo, how do I rewrite this one? X plus 7. X plus 7. Very good. Huh? Shakina.
Nina Sotenas, this is X times X. Pass someone? Carlo. Chance? Factors of negative 2 that add up to 1? Minus 1? Okay, so my factors are X plus 2, X minus 1, over 14 and 9. Chance factors of 14 that add up to 9? 7 times 2, X plus 7, X plus 2. Pass someone? Who? Mr. Hugh? Bam! I'm going to write all my factors. X plus 7, X plus 7, X plus 2, and X minus 1. My denominator, I got X times X times X plus 7 times X plus 2. Even. Last step, what do I do? Which are? So we're left with x plus 7 times x minus 1 over x squared. And if you got that, yeah, let's go. And these are my, this is my quotient. Quotient. Why quotient? Because it's division. Now check this out. Look up, guys. They want me to find the excluded values. Look up please, or you're going to miss it. What do we usually do? We take this and this and this and all of those equal to zero and solve. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. However, that's after we transformed it. What was the original denominators? This one? Okay, I already have it. But what other one? This one right here. Now I need to find also the excluded values for that one. Do we have the factors already for this one? Yes. Yes, the factors for this one are right there. So I'm going to write x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0. Everybody understand it? We need at least, we need the last two denominators equal to 0, but we also need the original denom denominator equal to 0. All right, let's solve. So this is already solved, already solved. This is minus 2, minus 2. X equals negative 2. This is plus 1, plus 1. This is X equals 1. Uh, minus 7, minus 7. This is X equals negative 7. And this is minus 2, minus 2. X equals negative 2. So my excluded values are, let's see, I'm going to start with the smallest one, which is negative 7. There it is. From there, I go to negative 2. There it is, and there it is. Then I go to 0. There it is, and there it is. And lastly, 1. Show me how can you are with division. Okay? We got this, yes? All right, and I'm going to stop right there. So our home play for tonight is pages... 446, 447 odds only. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your home play. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.